right, here it is, guys. Triple black, 1969, Olds 442. And yes, for you Oldsmobile lovers out here, it is a four-speed. Um, I got to kind of chuckle. I was just telling Dalton about it just a little bit ago. We get a lot of our customers that think a 442 um, has to have a factory four-speed in it. And uh, I have to uh, try to explain that to our customers that uh, they made a lot of 442s four with automatic. So a 442 was supposed to stand for four-speed, four-barrel, dual exhaust. But uh, that did not mean that uh, they didn't make automatic cars. They made a ton of automatics uh, 442. So anyway, this triple black 442 has been in the same uh, family uh, for the past uh, 30 to 40 years. It comes equipped with four wheel Willwood disc brakes, um, which is an awesome option. It's got the W30 uh, inner fenders on it just for looks. Uh, beautiful restoration done on it. Uh, some of the cosmetic stuff was done here in the past year, but uh, the paint and body work was all done approximately 10, 12 years ago. And uh, just a fantastic looking car inside and out. As we approach underneath the hood, um, it's powered by a fresh, freshened up uh, kind of a day code four speed 69 400 engine so it is kind of the correct engine it's not the original engine but the correct engine for the car uh, comes equipped with power steering power brakes again got those uh, Willwood uh, four wheel disc brakes got the proportioning valve in there uh, inner fenders it's got the Optima battery correct air breather This thing runs awesome. Uh, bottom side of the paint uh, on the hood all looks nice as well. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the hood. As we look uh, on this gap here on the passenger side, it's absolutely perfectly spaced from front to back. Look how nice this chrome lights up. Um, I noticed as we walked around it, uh, wiping it off a little bit today, uh, the gaps on this car are really nice. The hood to top of the fender match up absolutely perfectly. The front bumper, the back bumper have all been re or replaced. They're perfect. The grill is excellent. The emblems are excellent. And yes, guys, this is a real deal 442, not a clone. Uh, driver's side uh, hood gap is excellent as well. Again, it just fits perfectly flush all the way across. The paint on the top of the hood, top of the fenders is just absolutely almost flawless. As we look up and down the sides, a black car is so hard to uh, to make look like this. You know, the body is excellent. You've got to have a really solid and straight body, and this one does. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're going to see pictures, probably have 20 pictures of the floors, frame, trunk, everything, and it's all rock solid, all painted nice, detailed nicely. Um, it does have some uh, airbag suspension in the back. It's got a lot of new suspension in the front as well, so this car really rides and drives excellent. Uh, the chrome wheel well trim over the uh, wheel wells is in excellent shape. There's no bubbles or blisters anywhere on this lower fender. A lower door and rocker all looks excellent. somebody a nice uh, classic car investment. No issues in the quarter panel that I can see. Um, nothing behind the wheels. Check that out. Look how nice that looks, guys. The restorer, when he did the dual exhaust, decided not to do the trumpets. Um, just went with nice chrome tips right out the back. You can still do those if you want. Uh, back bumper's all been re-chromed and excellent. Uh, back tail light area right here, the tail lights look good, but there is a little bit of uh, um, 
solvent pop and stuff like that, some little pitting around the chrome itself back here on both sides. Another thing I noticed is check that trunk lid fit out. As far as the quarter panel to trunk lid is excellent. It's all been buffed out to an awesome shine. It's just super straight car. I really like it, obviously, you can tell. Um, there's no bubbles or blisters. All this back here is excellent. Check that out. I mean, very professionally done. Around our back shelf looks good. It does have a couple little speakers in the back and the radio works. They need to be secured down or when I got the car in, they had the previous owner had them just sitting in the back seat. So I put them up on the shelf. Uh, vinyl top is perfect on the car. Uh, looks great. As we open up the doors, this is what we want to see on all these uh, GM cars nice factory pinch weld here no body filler in there it's got uh, the rubbers are all freshly done when the car was repainted so they're very soft and nice more jam paint is nice as we look at the uh, door panels armrest base that's all been replaced during restoration that looks excellent the dash pad appears to be original we'll get to that in a minute I did go ahead and put the new chrome on the seat backs and stuff like that. We did that when it came in. The carpet and the uh, scuff plates, they all look relatively new as well. When he did the paint, he did a nice job in the door jams. The door jam paint looks good. One thing they could have did a better job on is that they did do a new headliner and it does have some wrinkles in the headliner. Um, probably the headliner should be to be as nice as the rest of the car needs to be. Um, took loose a little bit, take it to a upholstery shop and have them uh, steam it, stretch it a little bit. The back shelf uh, is great. The back door panels are good. The seat covers all uh, appear to be the original patterns and stuff like that. Um, they look to be in good shape as well. Windows all go up and down fine. It's got a new Hearst shifter. It also has the uh, factory Oldsmobile console, which is nice. It's got aftermarket gauges. It's running about 192. Uh, bolt gauge works. Uh, oil pressure is around 38 pounds at, uh, after it's warmed up. It's got an Oldsmobile uh, AM FM radio. Nothing great for speakers. Couple of speakers in the back. The, but the wires are back there, so if a guy wants to put some 6x9s in the back, it'd be great. But what I like is no one cut any holes or nothing like that in the door panels. So, uh, kick panels are good. Uh, the horn works. The dash pad is the original, so there's like a little hairline crack right here. Um, then the dash pad kind of lost its luster just a little bit. But uh, the rest of the dash pad looks to be in good shape. Uh, wood grain here is all original, so it's not new and perfect. If a guy wants to freshen that up, um, that could be something a guy could do with it, uh, you know, to really take it to that next level. But uh, all in all, very presentable there. Doors shut great. Again, we talked about the gaps, and I think that's really important on this triple black uh, 442. This car is not hodged up. It's a super solid car underneath. Very straight in the gaps and doors and stuff just shut. Excellent. Um, I think this car is priced to sell. Uh, you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Check out the price on it. Uh, it's a really good looking car. No bubbles, blisters that I can see anywhere in this quarter panel again. Doors look good. As we look really close, I think I first found my first real imperfection that I can see. Um, so just a little tiny little buffing compound here, maybe a few little scratches or something like that in that little area there. There also is uh, one little chip here, the rocker panel. Lower fender, lower door, rocker, everything is awesome. Undercarriage, exhaust, all looks really good. A uh, front door gap is perfect as well. I mean, every gap that I see on this car, in my opinion, is awesome. As we open up the door, the door uh, jam paint is good on this uh, driver's side as well. Gaps are good there. Uh, 
Uh, door panel, armrests, bases are new. We did go ahead and put those on as well. That really is a nice finishing touch to these door panels. It just really makes it look great. But the chrome and stuff on the door panels is in excellent condition. We'll go ahead and uh, hand the video camera over to Dalton so a little better uh, drive on it. Passenger side window rolls up great. Door shut nice. Sorry, the driver's side window. But both windows rolled up excellent. Seem to seal up really nice as well. And turn the radio down here. Um, this has got a real um, tight pattern as far as our reverse right there. Got a nice tight pattern four speed, close ratio four speed in it. So close, I was in third gear. <laughs> suspension in the back. Yeah, I noticed that. I mean, the car rides excellent um, as far as comfort goes. We didn't really go through everything as far as our heater works perfect. We talked about the horn. Um, wipers work excellent as well. One thing I'm going to have to do when I get back to the shop, we're going to have to have the guys adjust the idle a little bit. I don't know if it's because the choke came off or what, but the idle is idling just a little low for me. Take it down the highway and cruise 